to put it quite simply, our next guest has a style that sums up all his experience, his, his, life, bleh, sorry, his life, the love he's shared and the loss he's endured, all blended together to shape a truly unique musical sound. The need only listens, you need to only listen to a sample of his work to understand that he performs with his heart on his sleeve, inviting audiences to walk along, alongside him, um, sharing some of his happiest and saddest times of his life. Welcome to Random Outburst, Lance Kosing. Did I pronounce it right? Oh, Kowaisen. Kowaisen, all right, cool. I wanted to start off by asking, why did you get into the music industry? Oh, well, why not? <laughs> um, basically, it's, it's... My father used to play bass down in Melbourne, and then he used to drag me along to all these gigs up here, and, yeah, just followed in the footsteps. I said, I want to be like them. <laughs> yeah, just picked up... The, people first started off with the drums, and then picked up the guitar, and, yeah, it's been, downhill from there. <laughs> no, I don't think so. If you could have a stage name, what would it be? If you would have one. Oh, if, if I would have a stage name? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's too much creativity. Yeah, Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. Okay. Um, you're very talented. Obviously, you play the guitar. Do you play anything else? Um, yeah, I do play. I played drums for a good five years before I... Um, Decided that I wanted to be a singer guitarist and cool. um, dabble in a little bit of banjo and bass and stuff like that. Are you inclined to a specific genre or are you versatile when it comes to your music? Well, I don't like to uh, just stick to the one genre, but I like to call, call my style country, but um, you know, wherever it goes is wherever it goes. If it goes into a bit of jazz, a bit of, uh, a bit of reggae or whatever, it just, then that's just the way it happens. <laughs> Wait, um, you're going to play one of your songs now called Early Morning. Can you tell us a bit about the song? Um, yeah, the song was uh, written in two parts. It was written basically because we, we were... I was at the Country Music College a couple of years ago and we were, had to do the, you know, the intro introducing each other and we saying, oh, they like, this person likes this and this person likes that and they like to do all this, you know, how to introduce one another and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I thought, hey, let's write a song about it. And um, I turned it around and turned it into a song where um, it's about a guy who's fallen in love with his best friend. And um, he's saying all the things that he, that he knows and likes about her, and, but he doesn't know if, if it's actually, if she feels the same way, you know what I mean? Oh. So, yeah. Do you have any particular influences musically? Oh. Do, do you have time? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, apart from my dad, um, Keith Urban, Cat Stevens, James Taylor, Brad Paisley, uh, really a lot of everything, um, even Metallica and stuff like that, you know. Cool. Legend. I'd like to keep it open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you write your own music or do you play covers of other artists? Oh, well, as you just heard, I, just play, I do play a lot of um, my own originals, but um, you know, at the pubs and clubs and stuff, I usually prefer the covers and stuff that are. Uh, Personally, I don't mind. I'll perform whatever the people want. It's their show as well as mine, I guess. Cool. Um, do you have an album released at all? Um, I'm working on my debut EP. It um, should be out in the next couple months, I hope. Has it been a long yeah. process to put that together, or uh, has it been pretty easy? It's been a long, long uh, drawn-out process. Uh, You've got to get the musicians in, you got to write the songs, got to produce the songs. It's a big, big, big task. <laughs> What advice would you give someone if they wanted to start the his or her but um, own solo career or band? Um, never give up, basically. Uh, if you if you really want it, just get in there and Do take life by yeah. the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> by the guitar. Yeah, um, by the guitar. Do you have any upcoming gigs at all? Uh, yeah, on the twenty eighth of what month are we in? May. May. <laughs> that, that's the one. On twenty eighth of May, I'll be playing at the Narang RSL. Check that out. Cool. How can people find out more about you? Um, by a little friendly Google, you can type in Lance Coason, <laughs> uh, or you can check out my website on www.lancecoason.com. I'm pretty sure you have a Facebook too. I have a Facebook. <laughs> uh, Facebook.com forward slash Lance Coason. And we're going to have links from our website at randomoutburst101.com, so we're going to give you a whole page and awesome. there's going to be a recording of tonight's interview. Cool. And what are your plans for the future? I know it's a bit deep and meaningful, but... <laughs> well, um, if nothing else, to continue playing music for those who enjoy it. You know, that's hopefully making a career out of it so I can, I can work 
and do what I love at the same time. So. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming along and joining us today. Thank you. Thanks.